Greece isn't scheduled to hold another election until October of 2019, but right now the prevailing view is that Mr. Tsipras, the Prime Minister, is going to call an election much sooner. What do you expect? Well, I expect an election to be called any time between now and uh, the end of uh, Mr. Tsipras' mandate, which is in September 2019. Uh, I'm not too concerned about the timing of the election. I think that whenever the elections will take place, uh, we will win. What I am concerned about is projecting and presenting to the Greek people a convincing story about Greece's future after the end of the third program. Uh, you pointed out in your introduction that the third program is coming to an end in August 2018, uh, which means that we will be uh, in a situation where we will need to raise capital from the international capital markets. And in order to do that, we need a convincing growth story. Mr. Tsipras cannot offer it. I think we can. Before we get into details about that, let me just press on this election date a little more. Mm -hmm. And there's a reason for it. Lots of people want to see an election sooner. Mm -hmm. Yes, you have that date in August. And there's another date, the beginning of January, mm -hmm. with the pension cuts that the current government was forced to enact are going to take effect. Mm -hmm. They're going to be painful potentially politically unpopular mm -hmm. for Mr. Tsipras. Lots of people think that that's the window, August to the end of December yeah. when the there's election a, is most the, likely. Would you agree? There is a possibility, a distinct possibility that the elections will take place uh, in the second half of 2018. Reason being that Mr. Tsipras may not be the one to actually suffer the political pain from the pension cuts that he himself has actually legislated. What I need to point out for your viewers is that we're in a strange situation. We have legislated fiscal measures for 2019 and 2020 that go beyond the end of the current program. This is a necessary pain that's been imposed upon the Greek economy, 5 billion euros of additional austerity, part of the price we had to pay for electing Mr. Tsipras into government. So let's talk about this convincing growth story. If you were the next prime minister, what would your first budget look like? Well, I think we need a different uh, fiscal policy mix. We need to cut taxes and we need to further rein in public spending. There are still pockets uh, of, uh, of savings uh, within the government budget that we could uh, further explore. But this is really, um, Eric, about growth, about jobs and about investment. How do you make Greece an attractive investment destination? You need a government that is fully committed to reforms. We clearly don't have one uh, right now. You need a stable and predictable tax regime. You need to deregulate and uh, make the uh, investment environment uh, much more appealing for international investors. You need to intervene in justice to make sure that the rule of law is actually uh, implemented. You need uh, a new framework for land usage because all investments are eventually held up by land uh, regulation. So all these aspects of our program uh, I think are well thought out and I think they are compelling in terms of making Greece an attractive investment destination. Let's pick one of those for a moment, taxes. How much do you believe you can afford to cut taxes or what would tax reform look like? And what do you feel you could live with in terms of uh, primary surplus? I want to cut taxes, corporate taxation, uh, bring it down from 29% to 20% within two years. Uh, to send a clear signal to the investment community that uh, we can walk the talk when we mean that Greece is open for business. I also want to reduce property tax by 30% within our first two years. These are the first uh, interventions on the tax side, which will be coupled by a great simplification of our, of our tax code and our tax legislation. Uh, I think that we are at a stage in Greece where if we reduce uh, our tax rates, we will also uh, improve our tax compliance, which is very low at present. Uh, there's a lot of tax evasion in Greece, unfortunately. Uh, and as Mr. Tsipras has pushed up uh, marginal tax rates, he has shifted part of the economic activity uh, from, from the legal economy into the black economy. I think we can rectify that. As far as primary surpluses are concerned, unfortunately, Mr. Tsipras has agreed to primary surpluses of 3.5% for the next five years. I happen to believe that these are way too high. Uh, can they be renegotiated? I think only after we re-establish the credibility of the country. So I would first focus on an aggressive reform program that will uh, buy Greece the necessary credibility that it needs. And then I would have uh, this discussion with our creditors about slightly bringing down our primary surpluses. What other kinds of discussions might you have with your creditors? Do you believe Greece needs debt relief? Yes. 
Uh, I think everyone believes that Greece needs, uh, needs debt relief. The question is uh, how much of a debt relief can we actually negotiate? I think uh, that the time has come to finally have this discussion. I should remind you that this is a commitment that the Europeans had first assumed back in 2012. Uh, and uh, it's about time uh, to bring it to the table. But it's not just about debt relief. Uh, uh, we're wrong to believe that Greece's problems is just related to the stock of debt. We need to completely transform the productive model of the economy uh, and leverage our significant comparative advantages. I think if we do both, uh, Greece will be able to, to breathe again. And Greece could be uh, the pleasant growth surprise of the Eurozone. One industry that has been doing relatively well is tourism. Unless I'm mistaken, you didn't mention the possibility of land reform to attract foreign investment in Greece's tourism industry. We want, uh, we, I think the tourism industry could uh, easily attract uh, anywhere between 20 and 30 billion euros of total investments over the next five years. Not just in upgrading our existing uh, tourism infrastructure, but also focusing on, on second homes and making Greece an attractive uh, uh, second home destination. So what would but, you do but, to facilitate that? Uh, I would, all, I would uh, do something very similar to what other European countries have done in terms of non-DOM regime and giving the possibility for foreign citizens to establish uh, their tax residence uh, in Greece, provided they invest in the country. As you know, Greece is a lovely country. I'm sure we'd have a lot of people wanting to spend a significant amount of their time there. We want them there. We want them to buy property there. We want them to spend their money there. And why not retire there? So I think we have a, a compelling case to make. Kiriakos, Greece has been, uh, and this may surprise some people who haven't played closer attention, one of the best macro trades in the world. You can see it if you look at the CDS chart, for example, largely on the expectation of a recovery mm. in the banking system. Recovery in the banking system is held up by two things. This culture of strategic defaulting, and of course there's also tax evasion as well. Mm. What would you do to solve these cultural problems? How would you go after, how do you go after tax cheats. There's still you, you widespread belief of... You sent a very clear signal, Eric, to strategic defaulters that you will go after them and that you will be merciless. I'm, I, I'm using strong language uh, because, uh, unfortunately, um, Greece is a country which has exhibited a, a free riding problem of massive scale. So, uh, you have lots of people who pay their taxes and who feel completely cheated by those who don't. We have the data, we have the technology, we have the knowledge to go after those people who can pay their taxes and don't, who, or who can pay their loans and who don't, don't. pay their loans. So, but when and you I say expect, merciless yeah. and go after, what do yeah. you mean? Uh, will, you, will you do it Rudy Giuliani style? Will you arrest these people, drag them in front of television cameras? What, and throw them in jail? What I've, what, I've, what I've told the business community is that I'm going to offer you a fair deal. I will, make, uh, I will make doing business easier in Greece. I will lower your taxes, but I expect you to keep your fair end of the bargain. And that means you pay your taxes, um, you take care of your employees, uh, you bring back your capital to invest in Greece. It's a fair deal. Uh, I expect the business community to respect it. If, if some people decide not to and play along the old, uh, you know, the, the, the old rules, I think they will pay the consequence. But how? How do you enforce it? Do you enforce it by uh, applying the law? We currently have a, an independent revenue agency. It took us a lot of time to actually uh, put it into place uh, and uh, let them do their job. They're capable of doing it. I've heard estimates that anywhere from 30 to 40 percent of the bad debts on Greek, Greek bank balance sheets are voluntary. They, these are the strategic defaults, so to speak. These mm -hmm. people could pay if they wanted to pay, but don't. Mm -hmm because they haven't been forced to, to your point. Do mm -hmm. you agree with that figure? Do you no, I don't know if it's that high, but I'm sure it's, it's, it's high enough. And uh, if there are uh, um, shareholders who have bankrupted their companies uh, and have uh, taken their money abroad, they should pay the price. They should lose their companies. And whatever restructuring, whatever benefits, whatever haircuts are put in place by the banking sector should be relevant to the new shareholders and not to the old shareholders. Thank God it's beginning, it's be, it's beginning to happen. But we need to, to address this, uh, th this culture in Greece that some people are above the law. By the way, uh, the current government, you know, we had this problem of oligarchs uh, in Greece in the past. Uh, the current government is, is building a new generation of oligarchs who are even worse than the old ones uh, and encouraging them to buy media assets and to trade favors uh, by, for just staying in power. This is a behavior that is point blank unacceptable.